Yeah, yeah, dad's Chinese, man. My mom's not Chinese. She's black. Oh, She's okay. like real black. Like Wesley Snipes black. Exactly. Hi, guys. Welcome to Couch TV. I'm Jamal Stone. I'm Megan Lee. And we have some very special guests with us. You've seen them on 22 Jump Street, Tonight Show, Friends of the People. Today we are here with the Lucas Brothers. Kenny and Keith, how are you guys doing? Good, man. We're doing good. Pretty good. Pretty good. A little tired, but good. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are identical, obviously. How do people tell y'all apart? Oh, first of all, which one's Kenny? With, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm Kenny. And I'm Keith. Yeah. So how do people tell you apart? Or do people tell you apart? Uh, no, not really. I think uh, you got to get to know us a little bit. That's the easiest way to do it. But I am also like a little taller. So, like, oh. so he's, a little, he's a little heavier. Yeah. yeah I'm heavier too. <laughs> so guys, tell me, what inspired you guys to create um, Lucas Bros Moving Company? Tell me, because you're the writers, the creators. Tell me. Uh, I mean, it's, it's it's our life, so I mean, it's it's pretty much our childhood, which is the inspiration. We wanted to do something that sort of tapped into uh, our childhood, and animation was like the best fit for it. Yeah, we also smoke a lot of weed, so it's a huge influence. Can we say that or no? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> that's that's probably the biggest influence on us. I was trying to give the uh, the P P D answer. Yeah. <laughs> Who came out first? Who's older? <laughs> they tell me I came out first. Ah, I'm older by five minutes, apparently. But that could be wrong. That's what our mom told us. Yeah. But she was on a lot of drugs at the time. Not like not like hard 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 drugs. drugs, but <laughs> hospital drugs. So I don't know if she. Uh, <laughs> was, uh, <laughs> okay, let's hope not. Clarify <laughs> that. Yeah. What kind of drugs do they give uh, during pregnancy? Like, what, how does that work when you What's give that? birth? I've, I've never given birth. I know you've so. never given birth. You've been pregnant. You've given birth. No. <laughs> right, no. She's a young black woman. It's, yeah. it's entirely possible. <laughs> I was just, it, that was the presumption, but you know, you know yeah, what I'm talking about, right? But it's a drug that they give people before they knock them out. You guys are so cool. You have such a calm demeanor. Like, is it just you guys on the regular, or you just smoke a lot of weed? We, you know, we we've taken a break from smoking smoking weed, so I think it's just our demeanor now. Yeah. I agree. I think so. I think I think weed is just infused in our bodies. Like oh yeah, THC. yeah. We smoke so much to carry us over for the next decade. I yeah, think. So we're good. When did you start smoking? Uh, I started smoking in law school, so I guess that was about five years ago. Yeah, so I'm a, a recent, so recent four stoner. Years for me. Yeah. Four years? Yeah. yeah. I got him. I got him onto it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I appreciate uh, yeah, that. That's what, I, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> So you guys do a lot. I love your stand-up. You're, you guys are hilarious on stage. It's very rare you see two people on stage together. And you guys work so well together, of course, because you're twins. Did both of you want to do stand-up? Did one do one do stand-up and, and force the other one to do it? How did that How did that happen? So I started out in New York maybe in 2010. We were both in law school. Then I called him up and told him to drop out of law school to come up to New York <laughs> and do stand-up. Uh, because I saw the Scalar Brothers, another twin act, and I thought that we could be pretty original and cool. So. So he basically forced me. I forced him to do it. Yeah. So you forced him to do it. Yeah. I ruined his career. I mean, I almost ruined his life. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. This actually worked out for the better. Yeah, the I think was... this happened before, and we have some homeless people with the same story. <laughs> I made him drop out of law school. <laughs> we're on the street. Now, before coming to New York, where did you guys grow up? Um, so we were born in uh, Newark, New Jersey. Uh, we lived there for about 10 years, and then we moved to North Carolina. So... North Carolina, Jersey, that's what we that's what we claim, right? Yeah, yeah. that's right. You're going to season two of your cartoon mm-hmm. and Friends of the People. Yeah. So mm-hmm. how, so is that that's exciting. See two shows. Yeah. Season twos of both shows renewed for second season. How excited are you guys for the season two? It's pretty dope, man. I mean it'll be good if we get a season three, but you know. Oh man, you always I know too I gotta much, think man. ahead. I'm very excited about the season yeah. twos. I I mean I I feel like they're gonna be better than the season one. So it's always good to get another chance to build on what you what yeah. you've already created. That's so. true. Why are you so pessimistic, sorry, man? man. <laughs> I woke up on the wrong side of the bed, man. So, you guys tell me, like, I know you guys produce your own shows, and tell me, what's the most important part, working in front or behind the camera? Uh, I believe there's more longevity working behind the camera. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, working in front of the camera, I think, exposes you to, to too many people. And if you're an actor, you're sort of at the mercy of, you know, casting directors mm-hmm. and producers. It's better to just kind of take ownership of your own thing. Yeah, I just like owning my own stuff and creating my own stuff and just having that freedom to create. Tell us about this 
project with Fox. Mm-hmm. Can you guys talk about that? What's 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 what is this about? Live. Well, the live action. Or? Well, we have yeah, yeah. sort of a deal with Fox where we're doing like multiple pilots, and hopefully one of them goes forward. Uh, but the live action, we, we we wrote the pilot, and now we're waiting to see if it gets yeah, picked up. We're in for, and then we're and we're working on a. We're trying to build a, a twenty-two minute Lucas Rose Move and Co. show, so like extended to the half yeah, hour. So, so we're working on that. Time. Yeah. We'll see. we'll see if they go. That's pretty amazing. Now, besides that, do you guys have any other projects you are excited about for the year? Like, I can't wait till this comes up. Like, oh, ooh. Um, well, I mean, we're in the, like the, the nascent stages of working on a, a movie, which we're pretty excited about. So yeah. hopefully, again, that goes. But it's a lot It's a lot of fun because we've never written a movie before. And it's like... A, yeah, finding the time is the hardest thing. Mm-hmm. It's like, like a week to put aside to work on a movie. But it'd be dope. Yeah, yeah. The movie is what we're really excited about. That's pretty amazing. Cool. <laughs> All right, so so I guess the last and most important question of the day is: Do you need a young black male actor <laughs> and female for any projects you're working on? How you doing? <laughs> of course, we need we need more young black we need more black people on the, on the screen. So yeah, yeah, we're always looking. Yeah. Oh. We have that on safe. This is a contract. <laughs> That's what this is. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for talking Thank to much. us. You guys are great. Thank you. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, guys, make sure you tune into the Lucas Brothers Moving Company on FXX Midnights on Thursdays. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up.